So what I'll show you first is the new dashboard. You've seen, have you used the Connect before? Yeah. So you're familiar today there's a dash and then you go into Connect Hub. Mm -hmm. With this release, we've unified the navigation. You'll notice it's very similar to what you may have seen on Windows Phone or what you've seen previewed for Windows 8. It's based on tiles. And the navigation throughout, broadly and deeply, is newy, meaning I can use gestures or voice. Mm -hmm. So I can say, Xbox Music. <coughs> Sorry. Xbox Music. Cancel. I'm losing my voice today. <laughs> Xbox Music. So not only will I navigate to the pivot for music, but it's actually prompting me for the next step. So I can either in one command or a quick series of commands go through all of the media, the millions of music songs. Xbox Games. All of the game titles. At any, any point, I can uh, switch back and forth from gestures to, uh, to voice. So I can say Xbox Video. Xbox Video. And video is perhaps the area where Newly is going to be most applicable. And the reason being that we are going from hundreds of thousands of titles available today in our Xbox media service, Zoom, Cancel. I almost have to talk this way because it is listening to me and trying to help all the time. But by adding Netflix, Hulu Plus, other services that are going to be announced, we're actually going to increase the amount of content we have available to millions of pieces of content. <clears throat> now, today with Connect, we actually have Netflix, Hulu Plus, and ESPN mm -hmm. that are both gesture and speech enabled. Mm -hmm. But if you're like me, I have four Xboxes at home, one next to each TV. I don't game that much, but I use them for entertainment. I do a lot of going in and out of all of those services. When I want to find <clears throat> a show, I'll routinely go into Zoom, go into Netflix, go into Hulu Plus, search each. If I'm feeling cheap, see if one is cheaper than the other for a piece of content. When you get into millions of pieces of content, discoverability becomes an issue. So the way we're going to address that with this new release is just by letting you use your voice. Xbox Bing Batman. So what we're doing here is combining the power of Bing with the magic of Connect with the Microsoft Telemi cloud service. And so you'll see we've brought back results that span movies, games, so this searches all of the content on Xbox <coughs> across all of the services. Pardon me. Oh, I'm totally losing my voice. Across all of the services. So I have things here available from, uh, from everywhere, and I can, again, navigate using my voice. Xbox Next. Xbox Previous. Xbox Batman. Item 1. So you saw the little disambiguate. And here, it's actually showing me, now you'll see the preview doesn't actually match the movie because it's pre-release, but it's showing me the service that this is available in. Mm -hmm. So I can keep going. Xbox Zoom. So this could have been available in Netflix, in Zoom, anywhere. What this will do is bring us into the new Zoom experience. So Zoom today has gestures and speech. With this next release, it fundamentally looks like the dash. So it's based on tiles and I can have navigation that's gesture or speech based anywhere. So I can go ahead and resume a movie and just like with the first version, I can now control my media experience with voice or gestures. Xbox, fast forward. Fast forward. Play. Xbox, play. Xbox, fast forward. Faster. Faster. Play. Okay, you're efficient. So I can use voice. I can, of course, use gestures to go back and forth. So at home, I've gotten into the habit of sort of changing back and forth. I have a big open area with sort of my kitchen and living room. When I'm in the kitchen, I use speech to pause or move around. When I move into the living room, often I'm chatting with my wife, and I've gotten very good at using one hand while chatting to also navigate, sort of just like this. 
Xbox Stop. So as you can see, this is the new entertainment experience. Not only is it broadly and deeply combining gestures and speech in a natural way to let you go completely through a task without ever having uh, picked up the controller, but also it's combining, as I said, the power of Bing to let you to really solve that discoverability mm -hmm. problem. So that's the overall Xbox and the media experience. As Zig mentioned, we also want to really bring this power to developers as well. Mm -hmm. And the first place, one of the first places we think that's going to happen is Xbox games. Mm -hmm. Now, the first set of Kinect games did a great job integrating gestures, and some, like Connectimals, did speech. We've done a lot of work with developers to make it easier to build great speech experiences deeply into games. Mm -hmm. So the next set of games that you're going to see do some really, really fun things by combining gestures and speech. So the one I want to show you, uh, it's the next release of one of the most popular game titles for Kinect, and that's Kinect Sports. So coming out this fall for the holiday season, they have Kinect Sports Season 2. And this introduces a bunch of new games, tennis, for instance, but also games where using voice and gestures just makes sense. So you're going to have American football where you can call audibles with your voice. Or the one that I wanted to show you here is golf. So all I have to do is raise my hand, pick up a club, and if you've played golf, this kind of hole is pretty daunting. A lot of sand, a lot of water. So first I want to have a really good look at the hole. And just by kind of looking out ahead with my hand to my forehead, I get a great flyover. Now then, what I want to do is kind of get into my natural stance. So I'll turn around, get into my stance, practice. Yes, it always just just by using my voice, I can make sure I'm going to do okay. I think I need a little more club. Change club. Seven iron. Oh, went the wrong way. Change club. Change club. <clears throat> change club. Five iron. Oh, change there. Interesting decision. Okay, let's try this. I'll go back to that six iron. Change club. Six iron. Well, this new club could mean new tactics. I'm going to be directionally challenged by the water. <laughs> no, but it's, yeah, that's where I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I didn't hit the 7 iron. 